Hi, I thought I'd live blog. I'm at Cedar Beach. The beach has a playground where Poppy chose to go. And um, she's playing with some kids and she's playing alone. She looks happy though. And um, I've got cramps, menstrual cramps. And yesterday was a menstrual mood. But like the day before yesterday, my period ended. But it was like a five day period, pretty normal for me. But it was really light. Like panty liner light, like just a little goo. Uh, I did have sex at one point during that period. Because this was my period. And now I'm having symptoms. I looked it up and I was like, PMS after period. And um, pretty much what I could find was. Well, when that happens, it means the period that you just had, you hadn't ovulated for it. I don't understand completely. Like, you ovulate normally, you ovulate, and then two weeks later you get your period. So it's like I didn't ovulate, but I got a period. And it was really light. Now I'm worried that I had basically unsafe or unprotected baby making sex. And so... That kind of sucks. I mean, yeah. Aside from having to go off lithium, and I just, I'm not, I'm done. And plus, as a baby at this point, Poppy would be seven years older than. It's such a big age difference. It's like another generation. Anyway, um, there's a lot of people here. You can probably hear the squeak of the swings, and I, I guess I could give you a view. I don't know if you see anything. The sun's so much in my eyes that I, I can't, I can't see anything. There's Poppy. Uh, I see Poppy. I guess there's no point to this vlog. Um, except that I don't want to be here. What's wrong with me? Why am I so joyless? Joyless. Tired. PMS. -y. Not really tired, actually. Uh, um. I think I said all that is to be said. Um, yeah, oh my god, I've got nothing to say. It's just, um, I am here. I don't want to be here. I don't know what I do want to do. I want to, here's what I want. I want Poppy to be on the computer doing her Roblox and for me to be in the music room working on a song. Or, whatever I don't need a nap slip so late um, or looking up crap on my phone but I don't want it to be prime beautiful time of the day that makes me too anxious so I'm looking forward to evening when she can do that so Paul comes home with the interruption of dinner um, or if somehow in that time she wants to play with me that would be okay too sometimes that happens or sometimes I instigate it. Definitely somewhat before Paul comes home. I feel guilty that I've let her be on the thing so long. Uh, I, do I send this? How are you? I mean, you've got homework. You're dying. I got your text. How are you and Jimmy? How are you and Lauren? Maybe you can answer those questions. That's what I feel nosy about. How's your job? How's that bitch that checks you out up in town and down? Has that changed? Like, I thought maybe the longer you were there, the longer she might accept you. Like, sometimes weird, bad people will do. Like, they suddenly start to like you. Like, you've passed some tests that you didn't know you were taking. 
I've had that before. Um, I wish I could walk around and show you all the bodies and outfits that are here, but that would be bizarre. Uh, once again, I can't see Poppy, but I know she would. I'm very close to the exit. She wouldn't run out of the exit at this place. It's more like heritage where there's hills that are there. Oh, I see her. Places where there's a large space with hills and things. She tends to just get lost in the moment. But this is a very contained, sandy space. Then it's a parking lot. Then it's a beach. I just. Well, we've never had a problem with her here. Which is good. Um, Paul took her here yesterday. I was surprised she wanted to go here today. Boy, am I boring. Okay, here's a pet peeve. It's walking by. I'm not going to be able to show you. The um, overweight, fat woman. Different body type than my fat. Like, maybe taller and broader. More of an apple shape. I don't know. Like, I'm fat, I, I realize. But it's somewhat different fat. And they wear um, tank tops. And what does summertime wear? Uh, tank tops and jeans, shorts. And uh, flip flops or Crocs. And there are tattoos around the ankle. A butterfly or a dolphin. And then, like this lady's got a cross and a rosary mingled around it on her fat and upper arm, fatter than mine. And you know, it's not the fat body that bothers me. It's the lack of style. And even worse than the lack of style because I know it's hard to find cute or cool clothes when you're fatter. It just is. Every store, everywhere. So, uh, that's what I was talking about the other day about fatties in your neighborhood, is that a thrift store in your neighborhood is going to be filled with clothes donated by young, beautiful people. That's where you're able to get those Doc Martens. Some person discarded them. Like, I don't know these uh, Here comes you. There goes you. Poppy just flying off. I don't know if I caught that. She's a little bummed out, so I should stop soon. Okay, anyway, a fat body, it's not what bothers me, and fat, bad clothes does kind of bother me, but I understand. It's the tattoos. And I hate them on skinny people, but I hate them more on fat people. Like a fat ankle with. What does she have? I can't see it. A butterfly. Why? Or a big stupid tattoo of the upper arm. I have issues with my upper arms. I would never, you know, maybe she's got more confidence than I do. Uh, her skin color, I can't really tell where my shades. Yeah, she's about as pale as I am. I always feel like Latina women it could have something like huge arms and it just looks okay. Everything on darker women women seems to just look okay in a fatter size. White women look like beached whales. And um, here comes Poppy. I know those horrible ideas that I have. Hi. Say hi to Anna. Hello! I might look like a shadow, but I'm just Poppy. I know, we look like shadows. Well, I guess I'll, um, you know, that's all I have to say, I guess. I will uh, say bye-bye now, so bye-bye.